everybody, welcome back to Building South Lake. So welcome back to whatever date this comes out. I don't know. I think it comes out on the 4th of this month, whatever month it is. Um, I've lost it, basically. I just, I'm horrible at dates. But we need to go do our subscriber of the week. So let's fly over here. We're almost there. And since last part, I finished up, I believe it was one building. I finished that up today, which it's been under construction for a very long time. So it's finally done. Uh, which I will show you guys that before we get started as well. So, our fan of the week is going to be, we're going to put it right here, the ghost. So, G-H-O-S-T-F-C. So, it looks like it's all one. So, we're going to get rid of the space. Oh, and a little bit of delay there. The ghost and then F-C. So, the ghost F-C, thank you very much for watching. So, I have a couple really cool things to talk about today, mainly about you guys. So, after last week, and, you know, after South Lake came out, I love, South Lake is my most popular series, if I'm looking at, like, all the numbers, how many views each episode gets, and South Lake is by far my most popular series, and one of the things I absolutely love about this series is the fact that you guys comment on everything. I love it. I mean, I got more comments on last week's episode of South Lake than I did on uh, basically like two episodes of like modern Minecraft. So it's really cool to see that you guys really like the series. I love that you guys are actually engaged in it as well because not every series has that, you know? I mean, so I like the fact that you guys are actually in engaged a little bit. And I think a lot of that in all honesty is the subscriber of the week. I, I just think it's really cool that, you know, I, I do recognize that you guys watch my videos. I don't want you guys to think that I don't. So that's what that's the reason why I'm doing this for you guys is because you guys helped me out so much over the past, you know, three years. You guys have helped me grow my channel, which I cannot thank you guys enough for that either. You know, it's just one of those things to where I want to show my respect to you guys. And I didn't really know how to do that before until, you know, subscriber of the week really came out. It really took off. People loved it. Uh, a lot of people still ask me like, hey, can I be in the subscriber of the week? And it, it does kind of suck to tell them no, like it's not because I don't want to, it's more just I look at the numbers I'm given, which I've said so many times, like how I do that whole process. But I, I try to let you guys know, uh, wait, so two, three, we need four. So on the fifth, one, two, three, four. Okay, right here. And so I love the fact that you guys are so engaged in South Lake. I mean, if I ask you guys for an opinion on something, you guys really show me and tell me what you think. And I love that. I like that you guys are actually engaged in the series because it makes me feel more comfortable. Like, hey, so if I ask you guys, what do you think of this building? Or what do you think of that? If I ask you, like, what should I put here? There's so many great comments that come out from, from you guys that it's just absolutely amazing. And again, I'm not trying to, like, seem like I'm sucking up to you guys. But I love the fact that this series gets so many comments because I got 60 comments you know, just in the first two days. And that's, like I said, more than two videos because usually sometimes I get like maybe 10 to 15 on certain videos, but South Lake gets 60. And I love that because it shows that you guys really care about the series, that you guys like the series. Because I've said this before, South Lake is my favorite series to make because it's something that I enjoy doing. I love seeing how it's progressed over the past year, which I think we just passed a year a couple weeks ago on this series, which is awesome. Um, so seeing that you guys really like it is definitely by far, it makes me want to keep doing this series. And I want to do other series as well. I mean, I talked about yesterday and Chaos Craft, which you haven't, if you haven't seen it, I suggest you go check it out um, because it's one of my other most popular series. It's getting there. Um, I think the vision is probably my second most popular series chaos craft is probably my third uh, Let's see so what we need three so then right Here so last week we worked on the under the underground highway. I almost said underground railway, but it's not a railway um, But basically it's right behind us. I told you guys last part that we would be working on some of these buildings today Which there's this new building right here that I added which at first this was just going to be open and but then I decided to add this building here to fill up the extra space just because it didn't really fit you know it fit in the area it didn't look right not having anything there also I finally finished up this building obviously besides on the interior this building has been under construction for so long now this entire row of buildings is finally done especially on the map 
if we look at I don't have a map on me whoops so if we look on the map now, you can see that everything here is taken care of. It's all gray, basically gray and brown because of the wood. So about time it's finally done. Now we just have to finish up these. Um, right here is the highway. As you can tell, I finished it. One of the things I actually like about it is I love the walkway right above it. I don't know why, but there's something about it. Maybe like the trees or just something. There's something about it. I, it's hard to describe that makes it kind of feel like really modern and nice and clean and I'm not sure what I want to do with this big grass area here I'm thinking maybe like a tiny little park area I'm not too sure though so if you guys again want to let me know in the comments what I should put here definitely let me know because I love reading through the comments to see your guys' opinion on different things so definitely let me know what I should put there like debating about adding a park just leaving it the way it is but adding maybe like a water feature like I did over on the other side. So there's other things I'm, I'm kind of curious about. So one, two, then, okay. So that's, that looks about right. Let's just do this to make sure. Make sure we're on the same playing field here. So this one should be right here. Okay, perfect. Ah, my back itches. So I'm trying to think of other things I want to do to South Lake because we're actually running, you know, pretty, we're pretty close to actually finishing up the main part of the city. Besides on the right part of the map, we still have a lot more to do over there. But for the most part, we're almost done with the main part of the city. It's more just adding a couple more like row buildings, which row buildings don't really take too long to make sometimes, which is pretty cool because you can make more and fill up more space. But row buildings, in my opinion, are actually one of the hardest things to actually make because you'd, row buildings, since they're not as tall, you can't really make as many designs in them. So trying to find new designs in row buildings is actually quite tough because at some point I want to start adding, you know, residential areas and like row buildings for like houses, things like that. But I don't know where I want to start that yet because I have other plans for the space that we have left. And I don't want to make it right over on the other side of the stadium because I want to have some space in between the stadium and the houses. So I'll have to figure out what I want to do there as well. This, this building right here is so simple. Uh, do, do, do. I gotta make sure I get the design correct though. So we need to have this in between looks like. Okay, so that goes on the top. I think I got it. I think I, think I got it, okay. So we need to do this. So this starts right here. Put these on the top. Do, 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 do. And then I think we had these here correct hopefully I'm correct on these I want to make sure I'm doing these actually right because I actually like how this building turned out so making sure I do it right is actually one of the tougher things because I do mess up quite a bit and that's something you guys really don't see um, off camera all the designs I do some people don't like that I make some stuff off camera but if I didn't do some stuff off camera some of the stuff you guys would see would really kind of maybe make you upset because it's a lot of leaving the game because that's part of the reason why I don't have autosave on. And some people are like, well, you should always have autosave on because what if your game crashes or whatnot? But what I do is I don't like having autosave on because most of the time I don't want to save because if I want to try something out, like a new design, and I don't like it, I can just exit out of the game and not have to worry about the game saving it. I don't have to blow it up to get rid of it. So all it takes is me exiting the game to get rid of that creation that I didn't like. So I always turn off autosave for that reason, uh, mainly because it, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, it can get in the way sometimes, which I would rather, like I, like I just said, I would rather actually just make it to where um, if my game does crash, you know, that does suck, but I, I don't have to get rid of stuff I don't like if I made it and I didn't like the design of it, because that does happen quite a bit. Oop, I almost put things there, which that would have been wrong. Whew, happy I caught that. Because I probably make uh, three designs before I actually make a finished product, like a finished building. And there's a lot of going like, no, 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 this isn't right. There's a lot of just me thinking. And sometimes I like to do stuff off camera as well because it's more, I don't really have to talk about it the entire time. I can actually listen to music, do things like that that give me better inspiration because as you guys can probably figure, I can't play music um, when I'm just, you know, building for fun because of copyright issues. And I think this just needs to be like that, correct? I'll have to go around and check here in a second. Do, 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 do. 
Okay, so let's go around over here. So is that correct? Because it looks like it, yep. It looks like it's correct. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now I just gotta figure out so then. This needs to be just like that, so I need to get rid of the stairs. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. So we need to get rid of these. Do, 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 do. Did this go all the way across? See, this is part of the reason why I don't do some of this stuff, guys. There's so much going back and forth, which gets irritating to some people. You can look in the comments and people get irritated by it. But it's just one of those things to where I don't really care. I'd rather make sure my buildings look realistic and it's something that I enjoy building. Because the whole point of me, you know, making videos is I want to make videos that I like myself and my creations. I don't want to make something that I don't like, but then give it to you guys because at that point it's more like well how come I should expect you to like it if I don't like it myself uh, so we need to have me start there on the brown looks like okay I think I got it so right here no man that's what I'm talking about I mess up so much how come that doesn't uh, cause I need to have brown there instead of okay I got I got really worried there for a second like what did I mess up on I didn't mess up I just replaced this right here with uh, quartz instead do, 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 do. Real buildings are actually making the city look so much better than what it should. Because real buildings are actually a big piece of cities, in my opinion. So just keep going up, keep going up, do, 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 do. And I think that's it. And then we'll just come back over here and do the same thing. Make sure we meet it in the middle. Oh, messed up there. Oh, messed up again. Let's see. So I'm trying to think of like what else we have to really do on the city that's not really completed. I mean, obviously there's like big projects like the river that still needs to be complete. But the river, um, the river extension is actually going to take quite a bit of time. So that's not going to be done for a very long time either. Uh, so we need to have it looks like gray here, and then boop boop boop, and okay, so let's have this go all the way over. Boom, perfect, and then replace it with... Wait, is that right? Okay, it is. It's supposed to be like that. Okay, we're good. Whew, I got really worried for a second that I messed up again. Again, that's part of the whole thing that I don't like messing up, but it does happen quite a bit because I'm like, wait, I second-guess myself all the time, which I'm sure you guys have done that before too. Do, 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 do. And let's see how we're looking. Let's see how we're looking good looking. Actually looking really good. I like having that row building there. It actually fits in with the surroundings. So one one of the things I'm, I'm getting off topic here with the building that we're making now, but one of the things I was actually trying to decide on was, so I like how this uh, underground highway turned out. And one of the things I was thinking about doing was since I liked how this design looked, doing it all the way down the highway, but I'm not sure how it would look in the wide open. So I might do like a small portion like from there to here and to see how it looks do like a test run if it looks good I'll probably keep doing it but it would take a lot of work and a lot of materials to do that but I really liked how this turned out it definitely I don't know there's something about it I like that it's going underground I don't know I keep talking about it I'm sorry I'm not trying to get off topic but I do that all the time anyways so I think this needs to be like that come back over here make sure so yep and then upside down like this, perfecto. Then we need to have slabs. Oh, is there anything connecting the two? Sorry about going back and forth, guys. Nope, we're good. So now we just need green glass panes because we're almost out of time. Uh, we just need plain green, not lime. So let's just fill these windows in real quick and we'll probably call it quits for this part. Actually, I didn't think we would get fully done with this building. Uh, I mean like this entire side. I honestly didn't think we'd be done with it But we actually got pretty close besides the windows We completely finished it and besides the roof and this other side, but you get the idea Because luckily the sides don't have to have any windows because they're row buildings and there wouldn't be any point to having windows there would there and do 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 so you guys should definitely let me know in the comments what else you want to see me put into the city um, with the area I have left over. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to put a airport, which I've talked about several times, which some of you guys might be getting tired of me saying and talking about it. But one of the things is the fact that I don't have the space to make an airport right now. So don't put airport in the comments. You can if you want, but I'm just kind of going to dismiss it. 
uh, and maybe if I see a lot of great comments I'll like give you guys like small shout outs in the next video about like who gave me these ideas because I want to you know use your guys's ideas because technically this uh, series is for you guys you know the city is for me but it's mainly I'm building this for you guys so you guys can see how it progresses over time because we've done over 43 episodes now and it's just amazing to see how far it's come even though a lot of stuff has been done off camera a lot of it has still been done on camera as well so boop and boom we finished the front oh gotta get out the door there we go so thank you very much for watching guys it is greatly appreciated as always i will talk to you guys later see you guys next week or come back tomorrow for the vision so bye bye guys